Yeah, George is now so important that he's got his own stool in, in the videos, uh, thanks to you guys, because apparently he's more interesting than airsoft mystery boxes, than watching me open them. Uh, everything on this channel, apparently, he's the guy. Hi everyone, uh, Six More Badger here. I hope you guys are having a good day wherever you are. And yes, there are one, two, three boxes in front of me. George is in a good mood. I just keep thinking there's gotta be something that's gonna go wrong here. But I'm excited to open these boxes with you, go with you guys. Uh, apologies if you hear any banging, any noises. There's actually a construction site next to uh, where I'm filming this. So uh, if that happens, I'm really sorry, but it's not really in my control. George? George is getting pretty excited about this video. I weirdly think he actually likes being on camera now. Could be completely wrong. <clears throat> Let me know if you guys think the same. Uh, but weirdly, I think he just likes the attention or likes me not looking at him, looking at the camera, distracting away. So you're probably thinking, what's in these boxes? Uh, you may have read it in the title by now, but this one right here is a double Evike mystery box unboxing. It's technically actually not a mystery box. It's more like an open box item or two of them. Um, what I'm really excited to get today is we have one of the uh, open box masks, uh, which I have got one before, really liked it. I've actually lent it to a couple of friends. It does get very hot in California, having a full face or head protection, uh, but uh, I really liked it. It was good value for money, so got one of those. Uh, the other thing I also got is one of the open box uh, pistols. So actually, really, I think they're normally $100. Uh, I actually paid, I think, 75 uh, I think normally the open box mask is 75 I actually paid 50 so they were kind of like on offer, open box plus an epic deal, so I was like, ah, got to do that. You guys probably want to see what you can get in those packages, so I thought I'd do it. Uh, now these actually, I know exactly what's in them. I don't know which is which, uh, but the amount of comments I've been getting on this channel about how dumb I am for using high cap magazines uh, is pretty insane. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it out. I'm probably still not going to like it because I'm going to run out of ammunition on game day, but I'm going to get some some of these really high capacity mid cap magazines so that I stop shaking around. Um, in fact, I need to give a bit of a shout out to uh, Reaper Actual Airsoft team. Go and follow them on YouTube guys or on Instagram because they're really, really great guys. What does this mean? Um, okay guys, so I'm gonna ignore him for now because otherwise I'm gonna get really distracted about what he's trying to communicate to me. But a big shout out to Reaper Actual Airsoft team. Um, I've been playing with them the last couple of weekends at Warped Ops Airsoft Field, uh, just outside of LA. Uh, and what they said to me is I need to start using 0.32 gram BBs. So one of these is a set of 0.32 gram BBs that I'm gonna be taking out to the field this weekend. Apparently that increased weight instead of the 0.25s that I usually use, just meaning that the accuracy is gonna be a lot better. Um, obviously, I don't think the range is gonna be quite as far, but actually what they said is it's more impact. Uh, you actually kind of get the range which is similar, uh, but obviously it's not gonna hit as hard because it's a heavier BB traveling for a longer way. What is this, bud? Um, so yeah, so I kind of listened to those guys. I thought, you know what? I'll get some high mid-cap magazines, <coughs> high mid-cap magazines, some heavier BBs. Um, so I tried to actually get the EPM, P EPM1 PTS mags, which are the new ones from EPM. Apparently they're 250 round capacity, but they're sold out everywhere. So instead of that, I actually got some 190 round mid caps. Uh, obviously they're still big and they're still gonna give me a lot of ability. Bud, just calm. Come on. Okay, so uh, apparently the stool is not comfortable enough, so we have to deal with George right here. Um, so as I said, guys, I'm gonna open these first. Uh, we've got BBs, 0.32 grams, and some mi uh, mid high cap magazines. Um, so I'm gonna open those and get you excited for this one. I'll give you a little rundown of what that is exactly just before we open it. Opener today. Uh, again, I'm kind of running out of options. We have like a little bar cart here, which we used for the bottle opener and the uh, mud cocktail muddler last time. I think this is like a cocktail strainer, like you put it on the end of the glass and pour it out if you've been mixing stuff. Uh, pretty interesting thing, kind of looks like a little Mickey Mouse kind of shape with those little ears, like a mouse. Um, but I kind of thought that this edge, hopefully we can open some stuff with. Could you kind of just sit to the side here? Is that all right? Is that gonna work? Um, so I'm gonna open this one first, guys. As I said, I don't know wh what this is. Um, I think it is uh, either the mid-caps or 0.32 gram BBs. I think, uh, this was a bad choice as well. Um, that uh, bo uh, box opener that I got on the last one, guys, that we thought was gonna be amazing actually ended up not being great. I did send that to one of our subscribers, uh, so they've received that. There's also another guy on the chat. So if you're watching the chat right now, start putting stuff up because uh, I may pick a couple of names and do some giveaways. Uh, but there was another guy actually in, uh, Denmark, 
I think he was in Denmark, who basically also wrote at the same time the answer. So I just sent him some uh, safety goggles uh, for Airsoft because I was like, oh, you guys kind of did the same time. A um, bit more useful, I think, than that box opener. Um, and actually, he just sent me a message on Instagram showing that he'd received it. So that was awesome. He was like, oh, this is really helpful. Thank you. Um, so really love the community here. And I want to give back more and more. We are going to do giveaways, but the actual account is uh, slowed growing. We got to 1,000 really fast. We're now about 1,700. Uh, and the next giveaway is at 3,000. So if you guys want to win something, uh, definitely subscribe. If you're not subscribed right now, um, if you've got friends who would like to win giveaways as well, let me know or just have them subscribe because when we get to 3,000, that's the point where we're going to do this. So uh, I'm going to show you guys what we have in the box. And this box is the mid cap, high cap magazines. Uh, so I think I got 10 of them, 190 round. Uh, obviously they're going to be pretty boring. It's not exactly the most exciting thing to see. Uh, so that's kind of what it is. I'll show you on the kind of zoom ins, but apparently these are 190 round mid caps. Uh, I think they're the evike.com EMG kind of standard ones. Um, so I'm going to fill these up and we're going to kind of see how they go. Uh, but I'll let you know guys, I'll do a review and you guys can let me know if you like them or not. 10 mid cap magazines. Uh, I realize if they're 190 round magazines and not the 350s or yeah, I think they're 350s, the, the high caps I normally use, then I'm probably gonna need a few more of them. Um, I'm actually thinking when I go out my first game, I may take one high cap just as a bit of a backup and then take the rest mid caps. Next one, so obviously we've got rid of the uh, magazines, which I presume means that these are the BBs. And the weight also would suggest that that is the case. George? don't care this really was not a good choice again this one I think is worse it's worse than the uh, finger one that finger one was horrendous but this is actually worse um, okay so we got that open when I used to play in the UK we used to only use 0.2s so it's a bit weird for me using much heavier BBs even the 0.25s is a bit of a change so uh, I'm quite excited to test these out try it uh, in my gun. Actually, this is weird. These felt and looked like there were a lot more, a lot more rounds in it. So these are 0.32s, 5,000 each, uh, each bottle. So I've got three of these. So effectively 15,000 rounds. Should have probably ordered some more um, because obviously I'm going to go through those pretty quickly. Uh, but kind of good packaging. Looks pretty functional. You actually get like a little dial thing on the back, on the side there, so you can actually see how many rounds are left, which also I think is really, really cool. Um, really though it says 600 up here, 400 and 200, it doesn't really make sense seeing as it's 5,000 rounds, uh, but apparently that's what they put in there. I do actually lose a huge amount of BBs on the field uh, just being lazy. I think I bent this, which is probably not good. So that leaves us with this guys, which is the... I just need to get to my phone, buddy. Which is the two mystery boxes. Well, no, it's the two open box items. So we have the mask. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of what it is. This is the mask, which is $55 down from $99. So I kind of saw it, I'm like, okay, well it's half price. Uh, and it's also an open box item. So I think they guarantee a value of kind of around like $150, if I'm right. Yes, yeah, so the fiberglass mask is, was $99, it's $55, 26 customer reviews, it's rated five stars. So that's a good sign. As I said, we did this actually previously, um, and I've had some friends uh, and family when they've gone airsofting with me who've worn it. All right, mate. It doesn't tell me the exact value. Um, so I think it's over $100 in value, but it doesn't tell us the exact amount. So that's in here. Uh, the uh, the other thing we have as well is the um, pistol. So it says open box item, mystery full metal airsoft gas blowback, blowback pistol by K D KJW, WE, Elite Force, KWC, ASG, APS, KWA, VFC, ICS, SRC, and G&G. &G. So basically it could be from anywhere. They just decided to literally write out every kind of airsoft manufacturer. Right now it's sold out, so I'm lucky that I got it. Um, the cost of it says $100, but I actually got it for 75. So 25% off when I paid for it. Um, so total I paid for this box was 120 with tax 132. So 132 delivered for a open box pistol and a mask. Uh, obviously I don't know what either are, so it basically is a mystery box. So without messing around anymore, Let's have a look. It's a good sized box, obviously. That worked a lot better. Um, George is very excited, as always, to see what's inside. He actually likes the masks, I think, because it's a bit like, for a dog, they're kind of wondering what's going on. 
why is my owner looking ridiculous? Okay, so I'm not gonna look. It's gonna be the uh, kind of fold them over, open them up. Oh, okay. The paper I can feel, we got lots of that considering the size of the box, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, I'm gonna start guys with the mask because we run that out first. I can feel the pistol box was in there. I'm gonna push that off to the side quickly. And this is the mask. Okay, there's a lot of dirt on the outside of the packaging, um, like kind of stuff here. Uh, it doesn't tell me what it is. It just says open box item, mysteryevite.com mask. So I can't tell what it is now. It looks fairly similar to the last one I got, which was that kind of green, kind of like, not Terminator, it was almost like from, what was that game? The Two of Us, or whatever it is, uh, where they're wearing a lot of gear. Okay, again, guys, I'm gonna have to use this thing, I think. Break the mask doing it. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. George, this is where if you could listen to me asking what you want me to do, you could just bite through this and just let me see what it is. Guys, this looks really similar to the last one. Again, it's a full face protection, which you kind of imagine it will be. Um, but I think maybe a bit w wider and kind of shorter. But. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. I've looked at these before and they're kind of like the little like futuristic professor kind of look. But I think this is wicked. Again, guys, with this one, they've done the mesh goggles. So it's not quite the same uh, safety wise. I've actually bought recently some kind of uh, glass, no, not glass, but plastic proper ones. Um, I don't like how they fog up and also that they've kind of got gaps here. But what I have been told is just with the size of some of these mesh ones, you know, you get the odd BB that's gonna shatter. And obviously if you get really unlucky and it hits there and it shatters and keeps some momentum, it's gonna go through and uh, do some damage to your eye. Again, guys, it says open box item. Um, you may think, oh, it looks a little bit kind of uh, damaged or kind of brushed, but that's the style. They've kind of painted that on, it looks like. Um, I'd love to see what this is called. Is there a name for it? There's no name, just an Evite kind of uh, label on it. I'll put it on my head. It's actually got a really, really cool pad at the top there. I don't know if you can see that, but for your forehead, which I feel like a lot of masks don't necessarily look at. George, what do you think of this, bud? Oh. No? You're not looking at me? George? Okay, so he thinks I've gone really weird. What I would say with these is this is all I'm seeing out of. So I have no peripheral vision right now. I can't see my hands. I can start to see them there. So I don't know if tactical wise, this is gonna be that good in an airsoft game. Obviously it's kind of awesome. It's very comfortable. It's got good cheek rest. It's very uh, good, I think, in terms of like the protection that you're giving. Uh, I think your head's gonna get very hot in California, but if you're doing like a role playing game, I think this would be great for that. You know what I mean? Uh, you look very cool. You look very different, uh, but tactical wise and usability on the field. Not so sure. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of that. Uh, I think we'll give this a, uh, we've decided actually we're gonna do something new, guys. Um, the badger rating is now gonna be after I tested the gun and the weapons. I can kind of give this a badger rating, even though we should use this in a game, and then I'll give you the proper badger rating. We've actually decided we're gonna give uh, first impressions is gonna be a George rating, because obviously he's never gonna use it, or probably never gonna use it. George rating. He's like side-eyeing it. I think he just doesn't like it. So you're gonna give it a one? One out of five? Not even that, half? Half a point? Okay, yeah, he's not happy. Um, so I'm just gonna put this here. We're gonna give it a one uh, George rating because apparently that's what we're gonna do. Uh, and then we're moving on to the main thing. This is a small box. It's kind of like a plastic. This reminds me feeling this of almost the Glock box, I think that I, that I had um, for the Glock 34. Uh, I'll show you guys, okay, that's the back of it. I can only see black. I'll show you guys what it is. I don't know if I've got that upside down. It feels better that way. Uh, but here comes the big reveal. Three, two, one. Ooh, so this is the same make that John and I got, uh, which was the electric blowback rifle. Um, in fact, it was very cool, felt very good in the hand, and actually we shot it, and I love the bolt going back electric-wise. Uh, but obviously I don't think it's as functional way. The battery probably runs out a lot quicker. I'd heard actually that there was a company that bought the other company. So APS, I think bought Honkatsu, which is the two uh, manufacturers here. 
but uh, I've heard actually the one that bought the other one, I think it's APS, is not as well respected and they kind of cheapened the build slightly. I might be completely wrong guys, so if you have a different opinion uh, or you know more than I do, which is very, very likely, and that's uh, not the case, then let me know. Um, but that's what I think someone told me on our Discord server. Speaking of which, join the Discord server, follow our Instagram, George wants to chat to you at the Discord server. Follow our Instagram and definitely subscribe to the channel. I think 20% 20, 20 of the people that watch the videos and like them are subscribed to the channel. Uh, and I want to start doing a lot more reviews and giveaways. So if you can and you're watching right now, please subscribe, please like, and please put a comment down. It really, really means a massive amount to me. More importantly, it means an incredible amount to George. Doesn't it? Yeah, see that face? It means a lot to him. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. I'm actually gonna show you guys first. It's a very weird box design with like a kind of uh, screw that kind of goes in the top of it. And this is cool. Okay, so this is Glock style for sure. Um, this feels heavy as anything. Um, it's quite funny because they say full metal. This is definitely not full metal because a Glock has an aluminium rail normally and a plastic uh, hand grip. This feels like it's never been used, and if it's an open box item, it's still got the tags attached, this little metal, I think it's like a skull with an H in it. I don't know if you can see that there, guys. Um, but it feels good in the hand. In terms of, it's a gas pistol, obviously, or uses gas. I think this might be CO2. Okay, yeah, guys, so as you can see there, I'll show you some close-ups of it, but it takes CO2 uh, capsules, so I undo that little screw there, put a CO2 in, which I do prefer. Um, recently, a lot of people have been saying, why do you prefer that? And it's so much harder to kind of, you know, maintain, know much how much gas is in there, all of that side. Um, I don't know, I just prefer a CO2 because I've had bad experiences with gas in the UK. Um, but good mag. It's a little bit shiny actually compared to the other ones I've had. It's not that matte finish. It's definitely got a bit of a shine there to it. Um, in the box as well, we have it's almost like a rubber, but like a ring kind of thing. I bet that's for one of the seals. And that's also very strange. Two kind of plastic. I don't know what it is. It's almost like Velcro on the top. Maybe just some other grip. And a, a user manual. So the actual gun is a action combat pistol, the ACP-601. So as I said, it's very much Glock design, Glock kind of style. Um, I think it could be a 17, um, but there's no indication based on the name of the gun. Uh, kind of gives me the overall, it's definitely a CO2, because you can see that in here. It's kind of useful, actually. I think a lot of these manuals are just massive, have so many pages on them. Not that good to read through. This is just kind of simple steps. The safety's weird. Okay guys, so it's a Glock style trigger, but the safety, I don't know if you can see this. The safety trip switch is on the trigger. So if you can see that button here, it's like a tiny little button and it's got a red bit here. So you push that and that is now safe. Yeah, I can't push the trigger now. And then I push it on the other side, if you can see it there as well, push it there and then I can fire. Glock style trigger, it stays back again. I presume it's only semi-auto and not full auto. Uh, it says Cal 6 millimeter. Oh, it's quite cool. It's got the little Honkatsu skull on the back there. And if you can see that, that's pretty cool to have. Uh, sights are also a bit weird. They're kind of like a beigey kind of color. I like it though. It'll be interesting to see how it performs. And I definitely need to try it on the smart target to give you guys an idea. Weight's good. I mean, the magazine is obviously kind of in the pistol grip. The pistol grip's got some kind of little grooves on it, which is, again, I think really cool. Um, it's got that little um, Picatinny rail underneath the barrel as well, so you can mount a flashlight or a laser on it. When you cock it, it goes back. The cocking action sounds good. Very smooth, uh, looks like it's been oiled well. It's not greasy, there's nothing kind of crazy about it. Uh, it's still got the warning symbol on the side. Um, guys, I like it. Um, I mean, I'm going to look up the value now to give you guys the value. But I definitely think uh, for the, f what did I pay? I paid $75. Like, that's worth it for sure. Um, we'll see how much of a value gain I had. But it feels really good in the hands. Like, those kind of little grooves there. Mag release. The only thing I said, which is very odd, is the safety. Uh, I mean, it makes sense because obviously if the, the trigger's back like this, you don't really need the safety because it's not cocked. Obviously, if it's there, then you kind of do want to use the safety. 
Well, actually, hold on, that's wrong, because that's on safe now. So all you have to do is push it with your forefinger, then shoot. So actually, that's not bad. Anyway, guys, I'm going to look up the value right now, and then I'm going to give it the George rating, not the Badger rating, because it's only an initial impression. Um, after I've done a full review video of this, then I will kind of tell you what the value is. Um, but I'm going to quickly look this up, and hopefully you guys... Uh, can let me know what you think of this and if you would be happy if you got this in a mystery box. So, this one is Action Combat Pistol. This is really hard. 601. And it's not matching anything, which is great. Okay, so the ACP XTP, which looks similar, that's $150. So it looks like we're kind of, we're getting, seeing as I paid uh, 75, I'm getting a lot more value compared to what I've spent. But uh, if it was $100, you know, it's an open box item, it's not brand new, so I think it wouldn't be the best. Uh, but we'll just give George a quick little look at it. George, it's a good one, eh? You like it? Do the little, yeah? No, he's not that happy about it, guys. Um, so I think uh, for this one, we'll give it a three. Yeah, that's a, that's a three out of five from George. So the George rating on this guy is a three out of five. Uh, this one was a two. Uh, so total were five out of 10 for the box. Uh, again, guys, Evike always seem to give us good stuff. Um, I did get, we did get an Airsoft GI box um, to Tall and I the other day, which you've probably seen the video of. Um, I wasn't as happy with that. It is always one gun, which obviously this is an open box, um, but the value is always pretty close. Plus with those, you're paying the shipping. Whereas this, you're paying some sales tax, but you're not paying the shipping and it's delivered. And these guns can weigh a lot for sure. Um, so guys, uh, thank you so much for joining. We're gonna go quickly now to some shooting tests of this. I hope you're, you're excited. Um, I will have shown you some zoom-ins as well. Um, uh, if not, we'll show you those now. Okay, everyone, uh, time for the shooting test for this. Uh, it's the ACP601B from APS and Honkatsu. Uh, I'm hoping that this shoots well. It definitely feels good. Uh, just loaded up the mag. As you know, it's a CO2 mag, if you just watch, started watching the video. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one, actually, where the CO2 end of the canister is facing down. So actually, like, this has got the pin on it, which I thought was a really weird design, because normally it's facing up. Uh, but it went in fine, uh, screwed it in just usually with that kind of coin circular thing. Um, so pretty easy mag to reload gas wise, uh, standard in terms of the BBs, 21 rounds is great. Uh, I'm not going to take this off yet, uh, but when I cock it, you can see here, you've got the uh, safety, safety on, safety off. Um, so that's the safety on. Uh, I'm going to try this out. Uh, let me know what you guys think, but we're just going to use the smart target target to see what the grouping's like. Uh, obviously, I'm very close here, so I wouldn't kind of take the sights from it. There was already a BB loaded in that, obviously, because it just fell out. Just uh, only got 10 rounds left because I've just tried it. But actually, what I'm going to try and do, guys, is show you on the smart target the grouping. Um, so I'm just going to aim through the sights. At this range, the sights may not be zeroed in, but we're going to focus on how close it is. Remembered my eye protection again this time. We're going to test it now and see what you think. Ready? Okay, so I fired 11 rounds there. 
uh, only 10 were recorded. Scores 92. Um, so obviously about five feet from the target here, so you'd expect it to be pretty good, uh, but that is a solid score. So uh, I like the pistol, guys. Let me know if you feel the same just from the outside look of it. Um, it does feel good. Uh, I think pulling that uh, is going to feel awesome. Um, so I'm not going to give it the Badger rating yet. I'm going to give it a full review in a future video. Uh, if this is one of the ones that you think I should test uh, and do very soon, let me know. Um, I've got a lot of guns to review. So if there are any that you really want to see uh, what they fire like, let me know. I hope you guys are good wherever you are. Always, please let us know how we can make this channel better. George won't do anything, uh, but I actually will. So uh, if you actually want to see less of George, you just want none of George, let me know and I'll do that. Uh, but thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. We're going to have some more videos coming soon. I've been Six More Badger. This has been George. Have a great day wherever you are, guys, and please subscribe. See you on the next one. Goodbye.